Let's look at the three easy ways to add captions to your YouTube and Instagram Reels videos. Hey there, I'm Dom from Wondershare Uniconverter and today we'll be discussing how to add captions to your YouTube and Instagram Reels videos. We're gonna check out how to make subtitles using the YouTube Studio, how to use the Wondershare Uniconverter to create subtitles, we're gonna learn how to use iMovie on your iPhone to make subtitles, and also how to add emojis to your video. Captions are important for accessibility and making your content more inclusive. Having subtitles will make it possible for viewers to watch and understand your videos without sound as well. Whether we're talking about full subtitles or lower thirds with stylish designs or just call to action captions, it's crucial to have them. So let's get started. YouTube can either auto-generate subtitles or you can add them manually. You can also download the subtitle file making it a convenient way also to create subtitles for videos you'll upload to Instagram for example. Here's how to do it. Log into your YouTube account, upload a video and go to the YouTube studio. Click on the subtitles tab on the left side here. Click on the add language button and select the language of your captions. Type or upload your captions and click on publish. YouTube will also give you auto-generated subtitles that you can edit if needed and then you can also download them by clicking on these dots here. For YouTube, these subtitles are already good to go. If you want to use them for Instagram Reels, however, use a video editor to add the subtitles to your video. A tool that you can use is the Wondershare Unit Converter that we'll talk about next. With the Wondershare Unit Converter, you can create new subtitles manually and automatically as well, and you can burn them into your videos or save them as a separate file. Here is how. First of all, download and install the Wondershare Unit Converter on your computer. Then open it up and click on the subtitle editor. Now here, first of all, click on the Add Files button to select the video you want to add captions to. Then choose between importing an existing subtitle file, for example, the one that we made before, or create a brand new one manually or automatically with the auto subtitle feature of the Unit Converter. Now note that when you're using the auto subtitles tool, the subtitles may not come out as perfect, so you'll have to adjust them manually afterwards. Unlike in the YouTube studio, here you can customize your subtitles and give them a unique style. You can download a unique font from websites like dafont.com for example, but there are many other websites as well where you can find free fonts. It's also good to use different kinds of captions for different social media platforms. For example, for YouTube, you can stick to the normal lower third design, but on the vertical platforms, for example, using big and vivid captions is the way to go. Once your subtitle is done, save them by burning them onto the video or export them as a separate file that you can use anytime for any other platforms. Or you can do both at the same time. And lastly, if you make all of your videos on your iPhone and you want to add captions to them, you can use iMovie, which is a free video editor on Apple products. It is very simple to use. Just import your videos or your video and tap on the clip and then the text button. Here, choose from the style of the text and start typing. Additionally, you can use iMovie to add emojis to your videos, which aren't really captioned but still make the video visually more exciting. You can find the best emojis on Emojipedia. And when you're done, export your video. And there you go, three easy ways to create subtitles and captions for your YouTube and Instagram Reels videos, or basically for any kind of videos that you make for any platforms. Which one do you prefer the most? Let us know in the comment section. Thanks for watching, leave a like and hit the subscribe button for more content on video making, and I'm gonna see you in the next video.